Hey guys, it's Chris, and today I have a review of the Nike G Dragon Quando 1 in the black and white or Panda colorway. Nike and G Dragon brought the Quando 1 back again, but this time in a nice black and white, super stylish, and highly fashionable colorway. The Nike Quando 1 is a masterclass in contrast. It's harnessing classic dress shoe and turning it into an iconic sneaker. G-Dragon took a classic dress shoe and harnessed all of its energy and its best features and made it for every day and just for the streets and all around. If you don't know, the Quando 1 is styled after a brogue and you can see all the brogue detailing where it comes to the toe box, it has a nice wingtip design and the eyelets. We have a nice removable lace shroud. The left shoe says peace minus one while the right shoe right here has Nike branding. We also have beautiful embroidered daisies on both of the heels. The signature peace minus one branding just ups the scale on the sneaker altogether. But before I get deeper into the shoe, let me just get y'all a little bit more information about G-Dragon itself or G-Dragon himself. If you're familiar with K-pop, I'm assuming you know who G-Dragon is. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I am not a K-pop fan, but I do enjoy the Quando Ones and this is not my first pair. I have the all white Quando Ones over there in my collection. I'm not gonna get them for y'all, but I'll probably throw in some B-roll. Maybe, maybe not. You'll see as you're watching this video. But anyway, G-Dragon is known to be the king of K-pop, but don't quote me on that. He's a South Korean rapper, singer, and songwriter. And don't forget, he has earned many accolades in the fashion community. For this sneaker, G-Dragon took a lot of inspiration from Taekwondo, as well as his legal name. As I was saying, the Quando 1 initially launched in an all-white colorway back in 2021, which I do have in my collection. And that shoe followed his very hype and very popular collaboration on the Air Force 1. But fast forward to 2023, he's back again, and this time around with a nice panda colorway. This shoe features a white base with black contrasting. This shoe, originally released April 18th, 2023 for a retail price of $190. I definitely wanted them when they released, but I was not going to pay $200 for these. And following the release of the all white pair in 2021, I knew if I waited a while, I would be able to get this shoe for below retail. I got the white pair on GOAT for like $113, but this pair I got straight from Nike for a price of $152 instead of the retail price of $190 plus tax, equaling $200. I actually checked on GOAT before I bought these looking for a lower price, but on GOAT, the price was lower, but with the fees, the shipping, and the tax, it was going to equal the exact same price I would get if I got my shoes from Nike, and also it would take a week or so to come in, so I just got my pair from Nike and got it in two days. This shoe is very interesting. A lot of shoe brands don't take their sneakers and make them look like dress shoes or pretty much dress them up to fit like a professional style or aesthetic. A few months ago, I was a teacher. I taught in New York City for two years and the school I worked in was not down for sneakers. So I'm like, okay, let me be comfortable, let me be fashionable. Let me get a sneaker that looks like a dress shoe or a dress shoe that looks like a sneaker, but they was hating on these even in the all white. Which is crazy though, because they look like dress shoes. But let's get back on task. The shroud on the left shoe says Peace Minus One and has G-Dragon's Peace logo. If you lift the shroud up, you see it has a nice felt. You have all black laces and the lace tips say Peace Minus One, which is actually kind of fire. If you put the shroud back down and look behind the tongue, you can't see it right now, but I'll include it in the B-roll. We have a Nike logo with a peace sign and that says peace minus one on the left shoe. On the right shoe, if you pull the shroud down, it's the exact same thing, Nike logo with that peace minus one branding as well. On the insole of the right shoe, we just have regular Nike, but on the left shoe, we have peace minus one on the insole. On the toe box, we have the nice wingtip design. We have a white base and we have the wingtip black overlay. In terms of quality and craftsmanship, these definitely do get 
I would say a 9 out of 10 for me. And it's only a 9 because the leather is kind of thin. But it's respectable because the leather on this shoe is definitely premium. Continuing on the build of the shoe, we still have more of that white base. And we do have the wingtip or baroque, if I think I'm saying it right, detailing all throughout the shoe. There's actually not too much to get into. But on the back, we have a Daisy logo, which is featured on the previous pair and on Nike's and G-Dragon's Air Force Ones as well. The shoe is really, really fire. I'm glad I got a pair, but I almost forgot to mention sizing. On this shoe, I did size up. Normally, I'm a size 12. I got this pair in a size 13 because they do fit slightly narrow in the toe area. So I would say go a half size up to a full size up need be. I would go a half size up, but I'm a size 12. So a 12 and a half is actually kind of rare to find. And in some circumstances, a 12 and a half is worth more than a size 12, which it should be, but most of the times it's not. But anyway, I think in a size 13. I'm not actually sure if they made this pair in particular in a size 12 and a half. But once again, just to say it one more time for y'all, go a half size up to a full size up. If you do choose to get the Nike and G-Dragon Quando ones. This is definitely like a high fashion shoe, a shoe that's made for a fashionable individual. So I know this is not everybody's cup of tea. So if you're watching this video, let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this shoe? Are you actually interested in getting this? Do you have it? And how do you style it? I think this is a definitely a shoe that you need to have a nice, a nice fit for you. A nice polo, knit polo, putting down shirt, crop pants. You got to dress these up. Bring on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt is just not going to work with a shoe of this nature and of this caliber. For those of you that are new to my channel, this is my platform, something like media, a hub for all things sneakers, fashion, photography, videography, celebrity events, and just pop culture in general. This is also my sneaker series, Kicks Over Chris, because my name is Chris and kicks are definitely for me. So, if you like what you see here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way for me and it's a small step for you. I appreciate all the love and the support. I'm trying to get the 10,000 subscribers. I'm far from it, but with y'all help, I can definitely get there. So once again, I appreciate y'all. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and turn post notifications on so you are notified of whenever I post a video. My goal is to get back on track and post every single day, but right now I post almost every single day. And if you got to this part of the video, please let me know in the comments below, what do you expect from this page? What are you trying to see? I will do my very best to make the videos y'all recommend. Once again, I'm here to make videos for y'all, so let me know. My name is Chris Claxton. This is Something Like Media and the series kicks for Chris on Something Like Media platform. I just checked in and now I'm checking out. Thank you for watching. Peace. Oh wait, 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 wait. Make sure y'all like follow me on Instagram, please. My Instagram is Something Like Media. Something Light Media, once again, it's the exact same name of this YouTube channel. Now I just checked in and I'm checking out. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Like, check, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you for watching.